<laughs> Hello, I'm Angelica. I'm Snijana. Elizabeth Judge. And we're doing the third wave discussion. So, uh, for the first question, the two theories that we decided to define were drive reduction theory, which is the idea that a physiological need creates an aroused state or a drive that motivates us to satisfy the need. Uh, I'm just gonna say the example that was said in the lecture. Uh, when you are hungry or thirsty and then you are drive uh, or push to eat and drink to um, fill that need of hunger and thirst. And the second theory we chose to define is arousal theory and it's that humans are motivated to engage in behaviors that either increase or decrease arousal levels and um, high um, is motivate engagement in behaviors that will lower these levels and low is that motivate activities that will, that can increase arousal often through curiosity. Okay, so for question two, we chose like two motivational theory was the one that we chose was Maslow hierarchy of needs and arousal theory. For Maslow hierarchy of needs that we chose was it was very import important in this kind of situation because the victims were in desperate needs of their basic of their basic needs for example their sociological needs which was food and water who was providing the food and water the volunteers mm -hmm. the what did you remember his name um, well, it was all of them, yeah. Was, well, just all of them. And also, they were also trying to provide, like, security, for example, like, health, um, building their property, like, their house, schools, mm -hmm. and giving them some resources. Because I remember one of the volunteers gave, like, a family money. Did you remember something like that? Yeah, uh, Allison gave this family $500 because their uh, kid, they were so poor that they didn't send their kids to the new school because they had them working so that they would get enough uh, like money and stuff. Okay. So for the security, I would say is Allison. Allison, she was the one who was providing like health because she was the nurse. Yes. She was providing treatment to to her, the kids. Yeah, her motivate her motivation was to fulfill people's lives and help them. And then she she's the one who like recruited recruited the team to give others every like to help others and stuff to satisfy the human needs. Yeah. And then um, one of the eccentric um, motivations was. Um, was um, one of the kids that were one of the villages that were um, going around threatening to burn down buildings and cut their throats or get money for supplies and attention since they didn't receive it. That was an eccentric because in the end the benefits um, were associated with the behavior and all the other volunteers such as Sunny, Leo, Joe, um, Ralph, Sebastian, Larry, um, James, Bruce, Donnie, Oscar, Steve, Luke, Ariel, like all of them, they did it out of the kindness of their hearts. They didn't really want anything in return. They were just trying to fulfill um, people's lives and satisfy human needs. And also for, I would say for love and belonging, one of the needs, one of the th uh, Maslow theory was Donnie was the one who was playing with the kids, yeah. with the children, so he was just trying for them to just feel like love and belonging because I think, I, because they were going through a lot, it was a pain, it was a pain, they were going through a lot, like for me, I understand exactly what they were going through because it's like from where I came from, my country is like we have like 10 years of civil war 
we are some of some people lost their families their properties exactly exactly this kind of situation so i really understand and then i think donny was trying to leave to go back to see his family and some of them were crying is that right Can so your you... emotions were very strong to this um video yes and that yes. leads you to the number three about your how you felt mm -hmm. So what, were, what did it motivate you to do? Well, I would say my um, emotion after watching the film was I was really, really sad, also sick, to see family going through such pain. Tears was just running down my eyes. And I also feel like just go out and help them to provide their basic needs, especially for the children especially for the for the children and some of them they we are in desperate needs of medical attention i just feel like helping because i know exactly what they we are going through you have something to say yeah i also felt sad and compassion and sympathy because they lost their families and some of them were the only ones left in their family they lost their houses they lost everything they basically just had the clothes on their backs and um, I felt sympathy and compassion and sadness especially when they were cleaning up the dead bodies and um, they were walking around and there was like limbs and stuff and um, when they were all crying and the volunteers had to um, help them through that because uh, they, they all had family pictures and um, some of them were saying that they would have rather died than their family because like this grandma she said that she would rather have gone and died rather than her granddaughter and that just made me feel like really sad and sympathetic towards them. Exactly, me too when she was saying that I was just really 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 sad. I was just really sad feel so sympathy for them. It was a terrible situation anyway. I felt the same way. I felt um, I had a lot of sympathy for them. Um, being in like an everyday life around here, you know, we have so much to be grateful for and thankful for. We don't really realize what other people go through. And when we see videos like that, we're just like, wow, you know, that really does happen. Not around us, but it happens in other places and stuff. So it made me feel really grateful for what I have today. And again, like I'm really sad and, um, the whole tragedy that they went through was just devastating. People losing everybody, not just people, but their houses, their food, their water. Their, they were left with clothes on, the, just the clothes that they had on their back, and that was it. Um, it w after watching this video, it motivated me to kind of keep on going towards this goal that I've always wanted to do in my life. Um, my my daughter's father's family is from Uganda and I've always um, I've always wanted to like go build a hospital in there because I've been working for healthcare for like five years now and so it would just be really um, really great to go build a hospital over there and provide security and employment and health for everyone in that country um, I haven't gone there myself but my um, husband has has and he's like showed me pictures and when his family comes back and tells me about it and everything it just seems like it'd be such a great help um for for uganda so that's something that i've wanted i've wanted to do and watching this video has just pushed me to do it even more um what i will also say is that do you remember when the the volunteers build the schools the, the kids were so happy to return back to school so it was like a good a good start for them to start their life. It was really, really good. I enjoyed I I just feel motivated to do more to help people. And I think that that goes in for number four as well, yeah. how that motivated the volunteers and survivors because of what you just said, like, you know, how they had the school bill. Um, in week one, going back way back to week one in the video, the toilet was first built. And I feel like the toilet being built was a huge step and gave them more drive to keep on building. Like, okay, we have a toilet, you know, we can keep going as long as we keep pushing and keep working. And they did, and they ended up with the school and they had a lot of um, 
donations for food and water. Um, Allison had said that the smiles that the kids give them is what keeps her going. Like the emotions that they receive, the relationships that were being built. And also some of the the village I would say was not I am pleased with like the donation because some were so like grumpy or, or what will I say but the volunteers just keep doing what they were supposed to do do you remember that some of them were just upset about it was Alice they were upset about that she went to one of the family and gave them money do you remember anything about that okay so it was really really good we have something to say yeah. And an example of how emotions motivated the volunteers, uh, if you go back to the really beginning, when Allison uh, and Oscar saw it on the news that the uh, tsunami hit, they felt uh, compassion and they felt um, it, this motivated them to go to Sri Lanka and to help them uh, rebuild their lives and help them uh, with whatever they're going through, with cleaning up, with um, like... Uh, medical medical assistant mm -hmm. um, housing yeah like their shelter um, what else? I think I'm done I think that was good okay that's all thanks guys <laughs> thanks for watching <laughs>